uh, hari kelahiran untuk Presiden Persatuan Badminton Malaysia BAM Tan Sri Norza Zakaria yang baru saja tiba uh, untuk uh, memberikan sedikit uh, uh, penerangan, penjelasan dan juga maklumat terkini berkenaan dengan uh, atlet negara di kejohanan dunia dan seterusnya saya difahamkan mereka akan uh, meneruskan uh, perjalanan mereka dalam uh, terbuka Jepun nanti dan ya uh, mungkin uh, Tan Sri Norza Zakaria ada banyak input terkini untuk dikongsikan bagi pengetahuan kita semua. Kita ada masa untuk saya baca? Boleh. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, first uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, salam sejahtera uh, dan juga uh, selamat petang. Uh, pertamanya saya nak memperkenalkan uh, Datuk Barat, Timbalan Presiden 1 uh, BM, Dr Tim Jones uh, adalah merupakan uh, High Performance uh, Director uh, BM, uh, Tuan Haji is from uh, BM. So I just want to just a short statement and then you can ask me questions. Yeah? Um, this is a victory uh, dedicated to uh, every single Malaysian. The historic win comes just as we are about to celebrate our Hari Kebangsaan, making it the perfect gift to our beautiful country and to all those who call Malaysia home. We salute our world champions, Aaron Chia and So Wee, and thank them for sowing seeds of perseverance, commitment and loyalty, which they now reap the rewards. We have worked hard these past few years and our efforts have paid off. As I've said all along, trust the process. We have endured all sorts of challenges and difficulties, but in the end, we have prevailed and created history. This is, however, just the beginning. Everyone at the association will double our efforts to regain the Thomas Cup and to end the country's long wait for the Olympic goal. Aaron Woyi became the first Malaysia badminton world champions and effectively ended the country's agonizing 45-year wait in this tournament. Prior to this, their only title to date was the Manila Sea Games 2019 gold medal. Throughout their partnership that began in 2017, Aaron Wui has amassed a total of 12 bronze medal finishes, uh, i.e. semi-final appearances, including the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, namely 2022 Malaysian Masters, Malaysia Open, Indonesia Open, Swiss Open, Thailand Open, 2021 Swiss Open, French Open, Indonesia Masters, 2020 Spain Masters, Indonesian Masters, 2019 China Open, Malaysia Masters. Aaron Wuyi has picked up a total of seven runners-up finishes at the Badminton Asia Championship of 2022, Thailand Open 2021, All England 2019, Solo Lux Open 2018, Malaysia International Challenge 2018, Malaysia International Series 2017, and India International Challenge 2017. Malaysia won a total of four men's double silver medals. Uh, Jalani and Razif Siddiq, we are talking about uh, World Championship here. Yeah? Uh, Malaysia won a total of four men's double silver medals uh, via Jalani and Razif Siddiq 1987, Chia Sung Kit and Su Benkian 1993, Chia Sung Kit and Yap Kin Hock 1997 and Ku Ken Kiat Tan Boon Hyong 2010. Malaysia won a total of 10 men's double bronze medal uh, uh, via Jalani and Miss Bon Sidi 1980, Jalani and Razif Sidi 1989, Chia Sung Kit Yap Kin Hock 1995, Chan Chong Ming and Chu 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 Chong Eng 2001, uh, Chun Tan Fu and Lee Wan Wah 2001, Chan Chong Ming and Ku Ken Kiat 2005. Chun Tan Fu and Lee Wan Wah 2007, Zakri Latif and Fariza Zuan Tazari 2009, Ken Kiat and Tan Bung Hyong 2009, Ong Yusin and Tio Yee 2021. In relation to men's single, Malaysia won a total of four silver medals. Wong Chun Han 2003, Datuk Wira Lu Chong Wei 2011, 2013, 2015. In men's single, Malaysia won a total two bronze medals, Datuk Wira Lu Chong Wei 2005 and Liu Daren 2018. And in mixed doubles, Malaysia won one bronze medal through Ku Ken Kiat and Wong Pei Ti 2006. Questions? Uh, Tan Sri, uh, mungkin ada um, selepas pencapaian yang dilakarkan oleh Aaron dan juga Wu Yi, uh, hmm. selepas ini mereka dijadualkan akan berada yeah. masih lagi kat sana yeah. untuk terbuka Jepun. Yeah. Adakah 
uh, ada perubahan tak mungkin skip ke ataupun mungkin uh, sebab dia orang dah all out kan di okay. World Champ mungkin okay. akan ada uh, discount daripada BM atau okey um, buat masa ni uh, uh, mereka uh, proceeding as plan uh, mereka meneruskan jeni ke um, uh, Osaka uh, for the Japan Open um, Uh, kita uh, pada mulanya uh, pada perbincangan uh, saya dengan uh, Rexi uh, dan juga rakan-rakan lain ialah kita uh, menyerahkan kepada uh, mereka berdua untuk menentukan uh, sama ada mereka ke Osaka atau tidak dan uh, setakat ini mereka telah mengambil keputusan untuk meneruskan uh, 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 mereka punya perjalanan hingga ke Osaka so this is uh, as uh, as uh, today and uh, and and, and I, i think they they will be proceeding with uh, uh, Japan Open hmm. ya yeah. jadi itu adalah mungkin momentum mereka berada dalam keadaan yang cukup baik jadi uh, why not kalau mereka menggunakan uh, kesempatan yang ada ni tetapi bagi Tan Sri sendiri uh, menurut pada kewajaran dan pencapaian hmm. mereka hmm. you for, you punya opinion personally okay i think uh, uh, the last we met uh, masa kita comment lagi kan itu soalan sama yang you tanya tentang uh, Aaron dengan Soh, uh, bagaimana uh, kekecewaan yang uh, di, um, uh, ditimbulkan berkenaan mereka. Dan uh, saya katakan bahawa uh, they are not a problem, ia, juga, ia adalah part of mengurus kejayaan. The issue is, uh, Rexy said, every time they uh, they have this jing or body uh, semi-final. So that's not a problem, that's managing success. So uh, from there on, I think uh, because they committed uh, to... Uh, rectify uh, or, or study their weaknesses and flaw and uh, basically um, work with uh, Rexy um, dan uh, akhirnya um, atas kesabaran mereka uh, mereka tahu dalam uh, dalam pemikiran mereka dan jiwa mereka uh, dia orang ada dia orang punya target dan uh, impian i think setiap uh, badminton player uh, uh, terutamanya dari Malaysia uh, ingin menamatkan penantian selama 45 tahun ini dan um, um, akhirnya uh, Aaron dan Soh telah melakukan uh, dan memberi kita hadiah untuk hari kemerdekaan kita. So I think um, uh, let's just support them. Uh, I think macam mana Aaron dengan Soh katakan mereka ingin meneruskan momentum ini. Uh, mereka juga dah tag saya pun saya pun dah tag mereka. Dia cakap uh, let us build momentum from here. Uh, Dia orang ada uh, bigger agenda lagi after this. We are also talking about Paris 2024. So uh, I think uh, dia orang uh, very focus dengan matlamat dan objektif mereka. Sebesar mana impak yang uh, dicetuskan oleh Aaron dan uh, Soh uh, dalam usaha untuk membawa pemain-pemain yang lain juga mencari uh, pencapaian mereka. Yeah. Selepas ini. Okey, uh, kita um, as I said in in one of my comment, uh, we are a badminton nation. We are a powerhouse in badminton. But unfortunately for the past 45 years, we have not won any uh, so-called uh, gold medal. Yeah? Uh, we have uh, with Aaron and So winning this we have rectified history so uh, the moment has started for us to build many or to produce many more world champions and uh, with Aaron and So they will inspire uh, the uh, the other players i met all the players uh, before they uh, depart for for Japan Open and uh, they are actually very bullish uh, the moral is very high Uh, they they will want to build this momentum and i think Aaron and so has led the way that's really today your birthday right oh, yeah, so birthday. best present for you so far very uh, <laughs> i was crying with joy you know uh, because uh, uh, kita ada banyak presiden lah mm-hmm. mungkin sembilan you know uh, dan uh, uh, my kpi is to take three boxes Mm-hmm. One box is world champion, I've ticks. Mm-hmm. So the second box is to regain Thomas Cup, masih kosong lagi. Mm-hmm. And the other one is Olympic gold medal, masih kosong lagi. Mm-hmm. We will work very hard uh, to uh, to bring back the glory days of Malaysian badminton. And uh, uh, God willing, uh, with the kind of players that we have, we actually have now uh, product and also the pipeline to ensure that uh, we will continue to remain as a badminton powerhouse. Can you share your... Emotion masa yang oh, semalam. Oh, menangis tu. Ah, uh, Sem- uh, Share apa, sikit lah kan. Kita nak tahu masa kan. Masa tu uh, menangis and then uh, I sujud uh, kesyukuran. And uh, and uh, 
I, I, you know, I, you know, it's, it's the happiness. Uh, there's no words can describe the happiness. I think that happiness is 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 also echoed in every um, in front of the TV yeah. or everywhere uh, when you call yourself Malaysian, and the day has came, yeah, uh, has basically has arrived, uh, and the World Championship has already uh, come home. So I think uh, this is a very uh, monumental event. Uh, we should cherish this and should ensure that uh, we will support our players to ensure that uh, they will um, uh, be, uh, be well supported, uh, not only uh, at the elite level, but right from the, the whole value chain, from the uh, development until, the, until elite, so that Malaysia continues to uh, produce a lot more world-class players and achieve um, our, our ambition to regain Thomas Cup and also uh, ultimately the elusive gold medal mm -hmm. in Olympic. Mm. Sudah bincang itu uh, special incentive. Saya tahu yang mesti tanya soalan tu. Okay, uh, I think uh, it's it's just uh, at early stage. Uh, benda tu pun baru berlaku semalam. Okay, what I can tell you is that we will uh, basically talk to the government, talk to the sponsors uh, to ensure that uh, they are well rewarded. Permulaan dia, um, BAM is going to give 150 ish, 150 ish. Uh, initially, we were just uh, around uh, total for pair 100, tapi kita I discuss with uh, a few of my ini uh, uh, members in the council. Uh, so we will uh, allocate 150 uh, ish uh, as to start the ball rolling, so to speak. Then you have 50k ish from your neck. So that's uh, 200 ish. So then we will uh, now uh, Shakam, for instance, at the moment is at 40, yeah, 20 ish. But I'm gonna propose to uh, um, the minister uh, Peja, Datuk uh, Sri Ahmad Faisal Azumu, uh, to consider uh, uh, an appropriate amount. So that's uh, ni, and then we also will talk to other stakeholders uh, to ensure that they are properly rewarded. So. Um, that's it. And then uh, we build up this fund. When they come back from uh, Tokyo, we will um, have a formal, um, uh, a proper uh, welcoming home, yeah, so to speak, uh, to uh, ensure that um, um, we all um, give our, upper, our respect and uh, to show that our gratitude uh, to these two national heroes. So for now, Sports Ministry giving 40,000. That's Shakam at the moment. Uh, but uh, uh, I've just spoken to Datuk Shafawi that I said uh, I want to uh, engage the minister uh, to ensure that uh, the amount uh, to be considered to be increased to a palatable level. Yeah? Okay? So it's more jealous then? Ah, okay. The Can you just talk a bit more about performance of other BAM yeah. athletes? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, uh, general, uh, generally I can say that uh, uh, we are work in progress. Yeah. Uh, you look at, uh, but we, you can see that uh, there are many uh, players, um, you know, um, uh, that we can rely upon. Uh, when during um, uh, Commonwealth game, we talk about uh, Nziong, Peli and Tina, for instance. So uh, let's give them time. Uh, you know, uh, uh, like uh, uh, what happened to Aaron and so, uh, as long as we give the uh, support, uh, and, uh, and 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 the uh, um, you know everyone uh, basically give them the encouragement. Uh, I think they will deliver. Uh, they know every each of them are a very responsible uh, Malaysian, a very patriotic Malaysian. Uh, they will uh, basically uh, fight um, fearlessly uh, to ensure that uh, uh, Malaysia uh, pride is is always uh, on top of their head. So uh, don't worry about that. They are young, and let's give them time and, and support. Yeah. Uh, betul, dia orang masih muda, Tan Sri. Yeah. Tapi uh, mungkin ada time frame yang ditetapkan oleh BAM lah untuk melihat yeah. uh, uh, sejauh mana mereka memerlukan masa untuk mencap mencapai satu pencapaian lah. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, very happy with uh, Rexy. Yeah, um, you know what I've said to the singles department. Uh, yeah. Seminggu lepas, so I think everyone knows their uh, their, their 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 responsibility. Uh, Doctor Tim uh, is here, um, also as a high performance uh, director, to um, analyze our performance. 
uh, from all angles in terms of the conditions of our player, the endurance, the uh, um, in terms of the um, uh, mental uh, mental uh, capabilities. So uh, I I do think, as I said, uh, uh, we uh, uh, we will uh, give time to uh, every every age of the player, and they, they with Aaron and so uh, winning the world championship. Uh, I think the morale and also the spirit of our players are at uh, at uh, a very high. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Mungkin uh, hmm. kita dah dapat World Champ uh, Olimpik belum lagi hmm. So mungkin boleh dicapai pada di Paris uh, Saya tu baru cakap tadi Dia masih lagi kotak kosong tu uh. So uh, we will work hard uh, Kita yang penting dia Bila kita cakap Apa kita buat pun mesti uh, memerlukan strategi uh, Kita perlukan untuk menentukan uh, Ramainya player-player kita dalam proses qualification Kelayakan untuk menentukan bahawa tiap-tiap department uh, daripada men single sampai ke mix double mempunyai dua wakil. Kalau sebelum ini kita hanya hanya satu wakil, untuk kita capai dua wakil tiap-tiap satu department itu memerlukan yang pertama, kalau doubles mesti top 8, kalau single must be top 16. So benda-benda perkara macam ni memerlukan strategi daripada awal. Uh, kalau you tengok kalender um, uh, BWF pun dah keluar. Uh, bahawa uh, Malaysia Open contohnya akan bermula pada Januari tahun depan itu bukan dalam proses uh, kelayakan tapi mungkin uh, uh, yang tahun 2024 awal 2024 punya uh, Malaysia but I think uh, kita ada semua ingredient now we are part of the Grand Slam ada empat Grand Slam iaitu All England, Malaysia Open, China Open dan Indonesia Open kita level 1000 dan adanya pemain-pemain uh, kita contohnya memenangi uh, kejohanan dunia seperti hari ini telah membuktikan bahawa keputusan untuk meletakkan Malaysia sebagai salah satu daripada Grand Slam itu uh, telah uh, direalisasikan oleh player-player kita. Dan I think we should be ready for January to ensure that bila kita host uh, Malaysia Open itu kita akan dapat mengenengahkan lebih ramai lagi pemain-pemain uh, kita uh, di peringkat tertinggi. Tan Sri, sejak hmm. beberapa tahun sudah kita hmm. memang ada calon-calon uh, ya, calon-calon yang untuk orang kata hmm. Pencarian emas pertama di Olimpik hmm. uh, Jadi uh, mungkin tidak keterlaluan hmm. Jika saya meletakkan hmm. uh, Soh dan juga Aaron Sebagai calon yang cukup baik hmm. Yang memiliki masa untuk bersedia hmm. uh, Di Paris nanti Adakah hmm. itu akan memberikan sedikit bebanan kepada BAM Dan uh, pasangan ini sendiri? I think uh, uh, ia bukan uh, kalau kita cakapkan dari segi bebanan hmm. I think that's part of their, uh, their dream Uh, ataupun impian mereka sebagai uh, pemain badminton uh, untuk pergi ke peringkat yang lebih tinggi lagi uh, mereka telah uh, dapat uh, kejuaraan dunia tentu saja mereka ingin menjadi uh, uh, mereka yang pertama untuk mendapat uh, pingat emas uh, di Olimpik uh, bagi badminton dan juga tentu juga mereka juga nak bersama-sama rakan lain untuk uh, mengembalikan uh, Thomas Cup so I think these are all uh, in, um, in 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 their so called roadmap for everyone dan uh, saya percaya bahawa player-player uh, uh, kita ini uh, uh, akan uh, lebih uh, lebih bersedia kerana mungkin dulu kita uh, kurang keyakinan ya eh, bahawa uh, uh, adakah kita mungkin boleh uh, dapat uh, kejuaraan dunia ini dan hari ini telah membuktikan uh, there's nothing is impossible and they have uh, deliver Uh, dan sementara itu kalau kita lihat uh, contohnya uh, Datuk Misbon uh, di peringkat remaja pun kita tengok semalam we have two title ya uh, Justin Ho uh, and then Kamen and Ong uh, walaupun masih lagi berumur 16 uh, telah menjuarai uh, uh, di peringkat tertinggi so i think uh, we have the whole uh, pipeline ready uh, to to deliver to the senior level uh, saya pun uh, masih lagi kata memberi peluang Uh, kepada peringkat single department kita untuk cuba sedaya upaya to fast track uh, our player. Kita akan umumkan uh, dalam masa mungkin seminggu lagi dari segi uh, fast tracking of our elite junior. Maksudnya junior kita yang akan bermain di peringkat senior. Walaupun mereka berumur 16, 17 atau 18 tahun, kita akan ketengahkan mereka di peringkat senior. So I think we have we are ready with three engine. One is BM player uh, which is consists of uh, the senior Uh, uh, and then we have the junior elite and then we also have an independent player all of them are Malaysian we all should support them and encourage them uh, to go to uh, the highest level
Okay, uh, Tanshi, uh, mm. Mark, uh, how, how is the deal? Uh, any updates on working together with the independent players? Yeah, uh, we are working for, I think, uh, I have um, uh, informed Dato Kenny, and uh, Dato Kenny will be discussing with uh, Dr. Tim in terms of coming up with the terms and the guideline of uh, how do we uh, allow um, uh, the, uh, the participation of uh, independent players so that I think it will benefit both parties. So we are all Malaysian, we should work together yeah, for one purpose. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Nasri nampak in a few years ni akan dapat tak kalau Thomas? Saya, kita katakan tadi trust the process. Uh, kita kalau kita buat ikut the process itu insyaallah uh, kita akan uh, dapat mencapai apa saja uh, kejayaan uh, bukan saja Thomas Cup uh, Olympic gold medal uh, world tour perkara-perkara uh, ini uh, ada dalam perancangan uh, kita semua dan uh, kita akan tentukan bahawa uh, kita terus melipat gandakan usaha kita dan juga memberi uh, sokongan padu kepada pemain-pemain kita untuk merealisasikan uh, objektif dan matlamat uh, yang disebutkan proses bila agaknya yang paling dekat okey hanya takdir yang menentukan okey <laughs> okey okay. so okey thank you very much okey okey <laughs> thank you tantri okey Uh, jadi sudah pastinya uh, ini akan memberikan gambaran yang lebih jelas uh, di mana hala tuju uh, badminton negara selepas ini selepas kejayaan uh, beregu negara di pentas dunia dan sudah pastinya seperti apa yang uh, seperti mana yang telah pun uh, ditegaskan oleh Tan Sri Nurza Zakaria berkenaan dengan dua box yang belum lagi ditanda iaitu membawa pulang uh, Piala Thomas dan juga memastikan emas pertama di pentas olimpik jadi itulah sasaran yang sedang uh, uh, dilakukan oleh BAM ketika ini dan uh, kita mengharapkan ianya berjalan lancar dan uh, memenuhi apa yang dimahukan kerana itu bukan sahaja sasaran BAM tetapi ianya juga untuk rakyat Malaysia Satu perkataan yang muncul apabila bercakap tentang wira saya ialah semangat. Hanya dengan semangat, kita boleh maju ke hadapan. Itulah wira dan ibu saya 